Welcome back, guys. Discount Tools here again. And what else do we got? Some more storage from Harbor Freight. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the U.S. General 14 holder screwdriver rack. Model number 56655. Just taking a look at it with you, making sure the camera is all that. As you can see, 15.5 inches long with a height of 0.85 inches no slip rails deliver a secure grip and fit perfectly in all drawers so very nice again made in taiwan very happy with them so far what they they've been offering um even the stuff that's been surprising me um hopefully i'm going to do an uh all-encompassing one just show you guys all the racks and everything and all in one video but i've been very impressed i'm actually shocked that they're making these in taiwan something like this you'd think they would make this in um china but very happy um let's get her open so unlike the wrench rack that they made this is only two racks hard um again nothing no magnetic tape but you guys could probably put some on there if you needed to um for added stability um and as you can see you put your wrench uh screwdrivers wrenches like so down the middle facing flipping each one and It'll hold your uh, your uh, screwdrivers securely without them rattling around in your uh, drawer. So let's see how they work. Uh, we'll go down to the uh, bottom here soon. Um, take a look at it. But, you know, they are just plastic. Uh, not stiff at all. A little, you know, bending. But as you can see, they're going to move around. Um, I would actually say... Um, for the couple of cents you could probably spend uh, just putting some magnetic taper along the bottom and you should be fine. So let's see them in action. All right guys, so here's my draw, my screwdriver draw. Well, I'm gonna have more screwdrivers coming, but as you can see, you know, if I just threw all my screwdrivers in there, it would have been a mess, it'd just been like this. So, let's put these in. Oh, make some room. Da, da, da. Let's figure out the best way. Oops, put these in. I'm actually going to put these in here. So. Alright, just want to make sure you guys can see. So, you just line them up. And if you can't, if you don't need it, you can just kind of move them back toward, and I'll show you this later, um, the, just move them back toward the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the, the bottom here, closer to the end, that way, if they don't fit totally in here, you'll be fine. Um, I'm having a little problem with this guy, so do that. Craftsman fits perfectly in here. Um, Husky, yeah. Husky is actually pretty good too. Um, and you actually. Sorry guys, the wind's going crazy out there today. It's been so windy and my door just blew open. But you can use, also use this for picks. And smaller screwdrivers. 
you need to. And you can also adjust it to the size that you need. So they just don't rattle around. Like so. And actually, I want to move this further down. Because I want to at least keep all my nut drivers together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen screwdrivers. It fits. Take it off the stand here, and as you can see, now I have all this room down here. Um, the only reason why is because this long screwdriver here. You do have some space up here, but I can, you know, fix that by putting. The nut drivers and all the bits for the multi-bit holder for my Husky back there. And looks like we could probably put another one down here um, and go like that. But what I was talking about was this. If you're, I had it like that, you can kind of move it down and then fix, uh, fiddle with it so that the head will fit. That way the arm, the only gripe I have would be um, they made this uh, adjustable because as you can see, um, this nut driver won't fit in the slot. I know this is for um, for uh, screwdrivers, but you know, these nut drivers are like screwdrivers. So you can, so I'm kind of disappointed like that, but again, you know, we're dealing with this thinner heads so it's not supposed to be for a thick what is this a thick half inch to 13 millimeter uh, nut driver but you know fits everything let's do the well it does move around so it kind of fails that test so I would like I said you just need the um, you're gonna need a some magnetic tape and to put them down it's not a bad system. Uh, I think it spent, I think it was eight bucks again. I don't remember. I'll, I'll, I'll tr when I do a comprehensive uh, video, because I'll bring up all the receipts and everything, I'll let you know. But it wasn't bad. Maybe it was like ten bucks. I think it was twelve dollars or something like that. It was in that price range. It wasn't like for ch you know, it was just cheap storage. Um, a little disappointed. Um, I wish that uh, this had did have the magnetic tape. Um, that way, you know, this just is just sliding all over the place. Um, with and these are the the uh, what should I call it? The uh, grips that you have from Harbor Freight. So the grips, the the mats that you get with the uh, with the uh, I'm having trouble thinking with 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 the uh, storage uh, with the uh, tool box. So as you can see. It's gonna. It's if you slam this hard, it's gonna move. And the reason why I'm kind of disappointed because this is the same thing, and they could have put these don't move at all, as you could say. While this is moving, all they had to do was for the extra ten cents. I'm sure it would just cost them nothing to do is to put some magnetic tape on and hopefully and allow it to uh, not sl uh, slide around. So. It's a bummer, but it's for cheap storage that you need for um, for uh, your screwdriver sets and all that stuff. I'm just going to organize this while I'm talking. You know, I, it's not a bad option, um, but I'm pretty sure you could probably find other options with that magnetic tape. And it would probably work better. I know you have that toolbox widget, which I saw. The only problem I have is that's 20 oh, what is, I think it's like $25 for 10 which is cool, but you it's $25 for 10 that only fit 10 screwdrivers um whereas and you know they, they'll they seem like they'll fit any screwdriver and they're adjustable and everything which i wish these were a little bit of you know adjustable so that you can fit the heads more better so well as you can see if you wanted to have it straight up but you can actually move it down and have it angled 
there, but they fit the drawer. You're just going to have to be careful taking them out. So I'm probably just going to get some magnetic tape. Maybe we'll do a little video on that, quick video on how to magnetize this. But it's a good option, I think, because you're getting 14 screwdrivers that you can organize versus 10 with the screw, uh, the toolbox widget. And this literally costs half the price of that. So you can buy two of these for the price of one, about, with the 20% off coupon. And store, what, 14, so it's 28 screwdrivers in a row. So... That's my thoughts. Um, a little disappointed, but it's still, I think it's a good option. Um, let me know what you guys are using to organize your screwdrivers. I know most people just throw them in the chest and, you know, that's it. But I want them to be a little more um, organized. That's the whole point of this little video thing, since I just keep on buying organization, because I'm just sick and tired of my drawers looking like crap. So... Let me know in the comment, but down, comments down below. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know uh, if you have this, what your thoughts are and your opinions and everything like that. Or, or let me know if there's a different uh, different direction to go in. I would love to uh, know that. Hit the, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. Uh, hit the bell notification so you get my uh, notifications of when I have new videos. I always try to do the premiere thing. So I'm not trying to be any fancy. Be, uh, fancy pants or anything but you know I do find that you know when you let people know it's premiered um, and ahead of time people more people tune in and I try to be on there to you know have a conversation with you guys um, and hit the like button it helps out the channel it's free for you to do just hit it you know just hit it once or uneven times as some people would say unevenly never hit it evenly so, as always, keep on trucking, guys. Stay safe. Crazy times are always in. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.